Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co-host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. This week, we spoke to Greg from Instatrim about his flexible trim. Greg, how you doing? I am doing good, JC. How are you today? Real good. Cindy and I saw your product, Instatrim, and we were hoping to get some more information about it. I would love to talk about it. It's been an interesting journey, for sure. What is your background? I have a pretty colorful background. I went to school in uh, Madison, Wisconsin, and graduated and went to work for a smaller retail developer, putting together projects in small towns in Wisconsin, which I really enjoyed. And from there, I went back to Minneapolis and got into shopping center management like Brookdale, Rosedale, um, Miracle Mile Shopping Center. And that was all great, but I was getting burned out. And I, at one point, decided, I think I'm done wearing suits and sitting in an office. (laughs) And that huge turning point in my life scared the hell out of my wife. But inside, I was pretty fired up because I felt good. Sure. And from that point on... Um, I became a dealer for Lindahl Cedar Homes out of Seattle, Washington. They design and sell custom timber frame home packages. So my next career was literally up on the North Shore of Lake Superior. And I probably built over 60 homes Wow! and met a, met a lot of wonderful people. And that was kind of my Alaska. I always wanted to move to Alaska, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> so that was my Alaska. And uh Everything was great till 2008 when somebody somewhere literally turned off a switch and everything stopped 100%. And that was a very stressful period because we suddenly had no business. And that also resulted in the birth of Instatrim products. So did you come up with the idea for Instatrim from working on these homes? I did. And this might be a little crude for your listeners, but, you know, being a man... And using urinals, I was always very frustrated with the caulking jobs that I saw. Okay. They were horrible. They were dirty. They were gross. And laying in bed one night worrying about our future and whether we were going bankrupt, I had this idea on how I could solve the caulking problem. And literally got up the next morning, went out to my garage, which became my mad lab, and built a prototype. And it worked. And that was the start. Did you design the product as a caulk replacement or a flexible trim? We started out as a caulking replacement. Okay. The market was not broad enough for that. So we rebranded probably 10 years ago as a flexible trim product. It certainly can replace caulking anywhere in the home or business. But our big selling point based on the KISS principle, which is keep it simple, stupid, we solved the problem. Caulking is something everybody can relate to. Most people despise it. A lot of people will avoid it. So that was our niche. That was our brand. How did you develop it? So 15 years ago, had this idea, had this prototype, very, very crude. And I decided to start calling PVC extruders to see if I could talk with somebody. I called everybody in the state of Minnesota. As soon as they found out I was an inventor, they very quickly said, pass. I think the success rate on an invention that gets a patent, I think it's only like 1% or 2%. Wow. So the odds are very, very much against you. Um, Fortunately for me, we ran across a PVC extruder in southern Minnesota called Bioplastic Solutions, and Gary, who we've been with ever since the beginning, said, yeah, come on down, let's look at it. And that's literally how it started. Uh, We had to design a PVC die head. PVC extruder is very similar to a Play-Doh extruder, if you remember those when you were young. You put in the Play-Doh and you push it down, it squeezes out a a pattern. Same concept with PVC. Now, over the past 15 years, You know, I think the most important thing about being an inventor, entrepreneur, you are going to fail again and again and again. And over the years, we've learned that in failure, there's an opportunity. And failure is good because it forces you to continually redesign, redevelop your idea. And 
this all started in my garage in Stanview, Minnesota. I call it my Mad Lab. And I was testing adhesives, adhesive tape, uh, different shapes, different concepts. And early on, I was fortunate to have run across a patent attorney who was willing to help us for not much money. And that began this, this history of coming up with patents to protect our product. We currently have eight patents, which, which for us today, we are so appreciative that we went down that path. It was a lot of money. And we're talking probably three, four hundred thousand dollars over the years. Wow. And uh, we had a really good test last year on Amazon. The Chinese copied our products and they flooded the Amazon marketplace. Our revenue dropped 70 percent and we almost went out of business. So we had to find a patent attorney that would fight this for us. And we did. We successfully got all the Chinese listings off Amazon. So this year is kind of a regrowth year to get back to where we were. But uh, we've also got a lot of interesting opportunities coming up. And as you alluded to before, you know, what is Instatrim? It's a caulk alternative. It's a decor strip. It's a flexible trim strip. And one of our biggest markets or consumer markets is the female consumer. And a lot of these buyers are... 50 to 65. And I think what we've learned over the years is that the the husband or partner who used to be the handyman 20 years ago, they're kind of gone. And they either don't have the time or the skill set to do projects like this around the house. So here comes InstaTrim. Here's the solution. We get calls from buyers, usually female. They are so proud of what they've done and they did it by themselves. And that, that's the reward for us. That's what makes a lot of this worthwhile. Could you describe the shape of InstaTrim? The cross-section of our products is a wedge shape or a triangular shape. And what we have most of our patents on is we have a flexible wing on each side. It's very small. And there's a little hinge joint. So when you push InstaTrim into the corner, a corner, the adhesive grabs the application surface, but these wings flex. So it's a second sealing mechanism that will conform to the surface, the application surface, and create a professional seal. What sizes does it come in? Currently, we have half inch wide. We have three quarter inch wide. We are coming out with one inch wide. And we hear from a lot of consumers, they want a wider product. They must have some very large gaps and cracks <laughs> around their house, which I can relate to. So the offerings also come in six colors. We have white, ivory, gray, dark brown, black, and light brown. And the most popular color is, of course, white. That's probably 80% of our sales. Okay. And oddly enough, the second most popular has been black and then gray. And where can the trim be used? Uh, InstaTrim can literally be used anywhere, inside, outside. Some of the more common projects consumers do is where the countertop meets the wall or the backsplash in your kitchen. Okay. Historically, that's always been caulked, but it, it tends to come off. It gets moldy. It gets dirty. That's a great application for InstaTrim. We should also quickly talk about one issue that is constantly a problem is old silicone. So that is always going to be a, a thorn in our side, if you will, because if they don't properly clean the surface by cutting off the old silicone and then cleaning with acetone and some type of a scrub brush or scrunchy pad, it's just not going to stick. Yeah, silicone and is tough. It is. And we've got a, a consumer-based product where we have to rely on the consumer to follow directions and properly prep the application surface. And we have about a 8 to 10% failure rate, and it's because people don't follow the instructions. So what is the proper way to prep a surface before using your product? We recommend that you clean the surface with acetone before applying. We recommend you cut off about a 6-inch piece of InstaTrim, and once you've got the surface clean, apply it. Make sure you've got good adhesion. We have a very forgivable adhesive that is very similar to poster putty, you know, from grade school. Okay. It doesn't cure. It stays soft, uh, very tacky. But if you have to take it off, you can get it off without wrecking your house. I should also mention, too, that we are currently testing a permanent adhesive, much more robust than our current adhesive. And this would be more for the commercial market for manufacturing where it's, it's a permanent product. You're not getting it off. 
and we hope to have that done here in about another month. Your adhesive doesn't have any toxic fumes like you might get with some adhesives? No, our product is 100% non-toxic unless you light it on fire, but there is, there's no off-gassing. Um, our adhesive is non-toxic as well as the PVC strip. And uh, another big momentous change for us was two years ago, we decided to design corners, inside corners, outside corners, and end caps. And there again, the consumer was struggling cutting that splice or that 45 degree angle. Sure. And we're frustrated with it. So the corners we've come out with solves that. Uh, they come in all the colors to match the Insta trim. And I think we truly now have a one and done product that will last for many, many years. The longest piece we have in our house is 14 years old. It looks the same as when I installed it. Can you use the trim for a shower or a tub? Here again, as long as you don't have old silicone, Insta Trim will work very, very well in a bathtub, a shower, or bathroom sink. But proper application and cleaning is, is critical. Is it waterproof? Caulk products and Insta Trim are not 100% waterproof. In a shower or bathtub, the only true way to waterproof that is to have a waterproof membrane behind the tile. Caulking products will release from the surface, allowing water to get in. Instatrim will not release from the surface, but if there's enough hydrostatic pressure, water could seep behind that. So you have to have that waterproof membrane for a truly waterproof bathtub shower. Your trim is flexible enough to go around curved surfaces, like a drop-in sink? Yes. Yeah, we, we sell a lot of our product to trim out a toilet base, another very nasty area in a bathroom. The mechanism that we use to make that a long-term success is you install the Insta-Trim. This pertains to a sink as well, where the two pieces of Insta-Trim meet in the back of a sink or a toilet. You cut a 45-degree splice. You put a drop of super glue on it and adhere that connection. We recently had an order from a casino in San Juan Islands. They were putting in 160 new toilets, and they're using Instatrim to make that joint look clean. It's easier to clean because you don't have gunk getting under the edge of the toilet base. Sure. And it just looks more professional. And if you think about customers using that toilet and seeing that it looks clean, and it looks professional, that they feel better. They, they feel that, okay, they're really concerned about cleanliness, and uh, it just helps the overall appeal. Are there any surfaces you don't recommend for your trim? Anything that might have a silicone release on it. For example, a lot of products that are molded in a factory, like a bathtub enclosure, may have a silicone release product sprayed on them from the manufacturing. So there's where the sip, the acetone is critical to get that off. Instatrim works well inside, outside here in Minnesota. We probably have temperature swings of 130 degrees. Uh, you might see a little bit of shrinkage, but not much. So it's, it's a product you can use anywhere. Probably our biggest market, JC, is when the consumer puts in a new floating floor like LVT. Sure as heck, they're going to finish that floor and they're going to have a couple areas where maybe the flooring was a sixteenth of an inch too short where it meets the base trim. So we promote our product as an alternative to using quarter round, wood quarter round. For the average consumer, is very tough to install. you got to have a chop saw, a nail gun. you got to be able to measure correctly. With the Insta trim, anybody can just apply it around the perimeter in a matching color and you're done. Is the trim mold and mildew resistant? We do have an additive in the PVC, yes. And all of the testing we've done for 15 years, we have not seen any mold growth at all. I saw on your website you have project kits. Uh, the kits we have include a spool of Instatrim. They include our new applicator tool, which makes the install much easier because you don't have to push so much with your finger. And it also includes a six-pack of corners. Everything is color matching, and uh, we realized a few years ago that even on Amazon, which is most of our business, the consumer, I think, struggles a little bit with, well, what else do I need? So we came out with our project kits, which have been very successful because you don't have to look anywhere else 
for a cough gun or a razor knife or any other tools. It's just, again, that KISS principle is what we're trying to accomplish across the board. Can a homeowner get a sample to see how it would look for a project? We do have a sample kit that we will send out that has all the colors. It's got both of the half inch and three quarter inch widths. And we sell that. And the primary reason we charge for that is, as everybody is aware, shipping costs are going through the roof. Sure. And we just could not afford to send somebody out one piece of Insta trim. But on the flip side, you've got everything. You can figure out the best color for your project and you could actually test a piece, put it on, see what it looks like. So that's been very successful for us. Do you primarily sell direct to customers from your website? We do. We currently are just an e-commerce business. That's mostly due to how difficult it is to get into big box stores. But okay. we keep increasing our sales to other businesses, manufacturers. The RV industry has been a really big customer for us. And I think the solution we solve for them is a lot of RVs have got curved ceilings, curved walls, and they struggle with trimming that. A lot of the people have been using caulk, which doesn't look very good. So InstaTrim has been a good solution for them. Uh, we have sold InstaTrim to, for example, the casino I spoke of in San Juan Islands, trailer manufacturers, food truck manufacturers that have to achieve a certain level of sealing every corner and crack for the health department. And there again, we can provide a product that, that looks professional, color matching, and doesn't just look like a bad bead of caulking. If I wanted to purchase InstaTrim, where would I go? Currently, you would want to go to our website at instatrim.com or Amazon or Lowe's.com, HomeDepot.com. And next year, we're going to have our first entry into the retail world. Okay. And this is going to be through a Midwestern store that sells hardware, woodworking, everything for the homeowner to fix their house up. This will be our first test into the big box world, which if we are successful will be a major, major turning point for us. So we're excited about that. We are going to come out with our project kit in the stores and that'll be in January. So we're very excited about that. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, Greg. Yeah, I appreciate yours as well. And, you know, one thing that my wife and I try to do is, is pay it forward. If anybody need some assistance, they got an idea, a product, don't, not sure what to do. We like to help those people. So they're always welcome to contact us to our website. Thanks, Greg. That was a great interview. You want to spell? I know you're dying to spell something. <laughs> so you can check out their website at instatrim.com. It's I-N-S-T-A-T-R-I-M.com. Cool. Let's wrap this up. You can subscribe to the podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our ebooks, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know, books 1 through 17 on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five star rating and review. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com, and you can follow us on Instagram, Fix It Home Improvement. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week. Do you have a